Hello, this is the Ask Gandhi Show. Um, today, Kaylin D. asks, Andy, are you ever scared of being victim of random violence or mob attack because you are, are a white or a gringo in countries where you are weird and white to the natives? <laughs> I, am, I am white in a 98% black Brooklyn neighborhood and I am scared to go out at night. How do you do it? Okay. Um, I understand. I, I'm. Wh what's happening here is that you're you're saying that uh, all cultures are the same. It's not the color of their skin. It's the culture they are. Uh, a black inner city culture in America can be very dangerous, and uh, you might go to Africa and find that the black people in Africa love you to death. Um, racism is really um, a strange thing. It's not quite as easy to see. I, I'm going to go, as far as going through Central and South America, I've been to all the countries except uh, Suriname and Guinea, the, the three countries over there by Suriname. Um, you're not, I've never been in any place where I felt any sense of racism, okay, in, in a sense. I mean, if I did, it was, it was in Mexico. Mexico is having a, uh, Mexico, well, in Dominican Republic and Mexico are the only places where I felt anywhere close to having this kind of problem. And normally it was people that had been living in America and then went back to Mexico or the M Mexicans or the Dominican Republicans that had lived in America and they, and they were real angry at America because basically they had to leave the country in a way. Uh, but as far as a mob, um, but generally any type of mob anywhere on the planet, what, for whatever reason you shouldn't go, go into. Um, and Strangely, and again, it's the same kind of problem. Is that you're you're thinking that it's safe in America to go walk up to close to this mob, and it's not safe to go up to any mob anywhere. But the 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 racism that you're probably feeling inside America is uh, is an American thing only. It's part of the culture of the American black against the white uh, American, and. I could tell you I've been to 15 African countries, and they, there's just no racism that way. I mean, they, they're really quite in love to see you, okay? And uh, the, the gringo, um, I've been to all the way up through all the countries through Central and South America, and there's never been, I've never seen any kind of racism in that way. Now, I do know that like in Thailand, uh, there are people, they're barbarians, that have no respect for the culture. Um, I do remember in, being one time I was in uh, Renong, Thailand, and the guy says his friend got shot. He uh, put his feet up onto a, he was in Bangkok, and he put his feet up onto the table and pointed them at somebody, and which is an incredible insult in Thailand to point your feet at somebody or show the bottom of your feet, which is many cultures. A lot of the Arabic cultures, you know, you don't want to show them your feet. Uh, it's kind of like the insult. It's like, I'm showing you my feet. You're nothing. I walk on you. And uh, that kind of thinking on a one-on-one -on -one basis, you know, you could have somebody really do it. So there are cultural things that are taboo. Um, anytime, well, any kind of, uh, you know, children's sex or anything like this is taboo in almost all cultures so <laughs> these guys will get you know can get killed but as far as a mob you know superstition and I, I haven't really experienced anything where they really c would do it now I will tell you that there are people that are, are that do get killed that are in a way, I don't know, I, I guess deserve to get killed, in my opinion. They go to places in Africa or they go to some really, re really, really remote villages where they really don't read at all and they're very superstitious. 
and they they are secretive and like some reason they don't have to talk with the locals and the locals will talk and then after a while they could come up with some gossip and they might say hey he's coming to steal children he's doing all these crazy things they, they're, they're going to come up with some superstitious and then you could be in a mob but it's not going to be a quick thing it's, it's not going to just be a mob it's going to be that you are in the village and you're not a good neighbor and uh, if you're a good neighbor and you're a good person anywhere on the planet, when I say good neighbor, I mean a good neighbor to me walks over and talks to his neighbor at the fence and says, hello, what are you doing? How's things? How's your family? What's going on with the kids? If you're not willing to do that, you will have troubles. Um, I'm a very talkative person. I make sure I say hello to all my neighbors anywhere I'm at, anywhere on the planet. And I, but I do know that people talk right so anywhere in the planet they gossiping is just sort of normal human nature so that could be a mob that would form after enough time of you being a jerk um, I watched a mob reaction one time in a, in a bus I think I was in Peru an American on the bus a young guy was just arrogant and uh, we got off the bus in some strange place there's about I think there's about 10 or 15 gringos on the bus and he gets off and his bag had gotten stolen and I the whole mob of us you know I, I went and helped him finally I was laughing I said you know you are so arrogant and you're so rude everybody on the bus just turned their head and walked away from you this is not being a good neighbor you should, you should a traveler you should obey the travelers creed and talk with people and share information and not be like you're special or something and I said I'm just helping you because you're just a dumb kid okay you're just dumb I want you to realize you're just a complete asshole and you deserve exactly what you get but I still want you to learn your lesson I want you to be clear because I'm telling you clear I'm just helping you because you're an idiot and you know he didn't like it at all but I didn't care I wanted him to get the lesson in his mind that because he was such a bad person on the bus a bad neighbor with everybody all the other gringos on the bus the whole mob moved against him and this is again the mob reaction um, generally this kind of protest or this idea that you're going to have everybody against you I, I have never seen it on the planet I've been to Iraq I've been to Iran uh, not Iran uh, Jordan I've been to a lot of Israel uh, countries where you would you thought they didn't love us but those countries just were all in love with us um, a lot of the places where CNN makes it like they're massively hating us they're, what they're doing is they're they're putting a magnifying glass on one specific area and they're making it one specific group represent the whole country the whole country probably loves you but that one specific group may have you know you know it's like uh, everybody's angry at the rich guy right this is what there there are groups that are just angry at the rich guy you can find them in America you got all these conspiracy groups in America but um, what you're doing here I'm, and I'm worried what you're doing is you're thinking that the blacks in Brooklyn are the same as the blacks in America in Africa it's a different culture I have almost no use for that type of culture here in America but the blacks in Africa I love I almost married a girl in uh, Cote d'Ivoire um, it's a culture you have cultures that are obnoxious and if you're afraid to, to walk around in Brooklyn my advice is to move uh, and if you're traveling anywhere and you feel uncomfortable you move and uh, I, I will tell you that any kind of elitist type attitude whether you stay in a five-star hotel or you're, get, you're on a tour group or you're all getting out and taking photos of people that really is not very respectful of the people um, it's like they're like uh, like you know you're, you're getting the whole bus stops and they all bring out their cameras and they start focusing on everybody as if it's uh, you could do this anywhere on the planet and like they're not real like I'm the rich people we stop we're spending our money so we get to take photos of you um, you know the world is not a zoo okay and if you get it through your head that uh, it's just about being a good neighbor and treating people as real people and you're never you're never better off than the people that uh, you're visiting I mean it's Americans 
I, I had Americans, I mean, a lot of times Americans think, oh, they're poor. And I go, you know, why do you think you're so superior? And that, that kind of attitude really causes problems. Well, um, I've never had the problem. You, you, the most dangerous, the most likely place to have this happen is actually inside the United States. Go into Brooklyn, go into the wrong neighborhood, and they could kill you. But outside the United States, it's very, very, very difficult to happen. We can